there and welcome to my channel. This is going to be the first kind of review that I've done, the first kind of video I've done like this. This is a product review and it is on these hay bags that I got from Hay Chicks, H-A-Y-C-H-I-X. And uh, we have three horses and they um, mostly, for the most part, eat square bales, but they like to tear them apart and we didn't really have any good way to keep them off the ground and so forth. I mean, they have little hay bunks themselves, but I have to break down the bale and, and so forth. So I was trying to figure out something that we could use and put up, you know, and possibly last for several days, something like that. So I got these hay bags. They were $50 a piece. They're super duper heavy um, netting and they come with um, a really nice closure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this second bag over this bale. It's not that hard, I was wondering, but it wasn't that hard. You kinda of gotta, you know, get it in one side and then you gotta flip it over and kinda of pull it in. Kinda of like a pillowcase on a pillow kind of thing. And then once you get it about halfway up, you can stand it on end and pull it the rest of the way up. So um, that's what I did and it only took about a minute or so to get it on there. Um, so after I get it on, we're gonna go down to where the horses are and I'm gonna show you how I set um, their feed bunk up for these hay bales. Okay, everybody, we're down here in the horse's paddock, and um, this is the reason why we wanted to do this is because their paddock sits in a really low area, and so right now in the springtime, it gets so muddy and nasty, and we wanted some way for the hay to stay off the ground, and um, you know, less chance for parasites and things like that. So what we did was we got this 10-foot bunk and I drilled some holes in it and then I put some chain on the end of these little um, metal clamps things, whatever they are. So there's metal bars underneath here, just like that. So I put the chain around the bottom of the metal bars just to give it more stability because when the horses start pulling on the bags to eat, if it was just the plastic, um, I'm pretty sure the plastic would be ripped and destroyed within minutes. So I'm hoping that with it wrapped around those metal bars, it's going to last. It's just going to work. I'm hoping. So I've got enough clamps here for two bales, and this fits at least two bales of hay. I'm going to put the hay in here. I'm going to clamp down the nets, and we'll see how it works. Here's the horses. We have a small, medium, and a large. That's the large size. And that's the small one that the dog likes to play with because she's about the size of the dog. So anyways. Okay, so I just put the bales in. And as you can see, they are eating out already. So the slow feed netting, I'm hoping, cuts down. Obviously, they're, you know, the hay should last longer and it should keep them occupied because they, they kind of get bored down here. So I'm hoping that it, it helps in in various ways. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how um, durable they are. We'll see if my little system works with the, um, the uh, little metal clips attached to the bottom so that they don't pull the bales out of the bunk. And then I'll do um, a review later on, maybe a week or two, and see how they're standing up. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, I'm just gonna take a short video. Um, I put the hay bags up on Friday um, and this is Monday, so over the last several days, as you can see, there is a little bit of hay on the ground. That's just where they've pulled out, you know, more than they could chew and put it on the ground. But for the most part, um, I don't have my uh, muck boots on, so I'm not gonna go in the paddock right now. But the, um, the overall feeling that I have on these things is superb because if these nets were not here, then all of this hay, the two bales that are in the bunk, would have been on the ground because they, they pull them out and everything. So um, pretty much, you know, most of the bales are still there and they've been eating on them for the last couple days. So I am really pleased with the overall performance of the bags and the way that they've handled and everything. So I'm giving this a great big thumbs up. So we'll see how they do in the next week or so. But for right now, I am extremely happy with um, how they've done, so. All right, super bright this morning and sunny, so I'm very thankful. All right, we'll see you guys next time.